Hey guys, for those of you new to my channel, my name is Mike and I go by Big Mike Flips here on YouTube. And my eBay store is Shop My Bay. I have been going out for 25 years to yard sales, Goodwill, anywhere I can go find things to source to resell online. But I've recently started looking for penny items at Dollar General in addition to their clearance items. So thanks to Peggy from Peggy's Corner, her YouTube channel, as well as her Facebook group, pennies, 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 I've been able to learn a lot about what to look for and just how to do penny shopping in general at Dollar General Store. And you'll find a lot of really cool things on her Facebook page and as well as her YouTube videos. She kind of throws out there what is going to be on sale every Tuesday, as well as the penny items that other people are finding. So check those things out. They'll be in the description in the download. Check that out and see what you guys think about her YouTube as well as the Facebook group. So I'm going to go, go over all the things that I got at Dollar General stores this weekend. I actually ended up, I think, a total of nine Dollar General stores. I went to a couple Goodwill stores, and then I also bought a few things from Walgreens as well as uh, Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to go over each of those things. And what I want you guys to do is watch the whole video because somewhere in the middle of the video, I'm going to tell you how to get in on a giveaway on those items that I picked up at Dollar General. So I'll give you the instructions of how you can enter to win as well as what you need to do and, and what, what the rules are around uh, trying to get into that giveaway. So without all that out of the way, now I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Dollar General stores, the penny items, as well as the clearance items, so some good stuff I found. And then I'm going to show you the other items that I found this weekend when I was outsourcing. Thank you guys. Enjoy the video. Okay, guys, so here is the whole haul of all Dollar Generals on uh, Saturday. As you guys can see, I have a lot of penny items, but I also have some of the other items that everybody's been looking for. Some pretty cool uh, grabs this weekend, and I want to go over first on the this left-hand side here. From this, from these washcloths to the left are all penny items. So as you can see, we got the uh, all the college uh Trash cans, little bathroom and dorm, uh, I guess trash cans are all going for a penny a piece. This little, uh, it's not glass, but it's like a plastic uh, wine cup. And then there's only one, I was only able to find one type of hat. It's this mossy oak. Every one of them I found either had just this or they also had a couple. Let's see, this one's a little different. I guess that's it. No, that one right there. So that one right there has um, the 1250 tag there, and it's a captivating headwear. What I found, a lot of the captivating headwears were missing this, this part and the sticker, and they had no price on them at all. And I didn't even take those up because I knew what would happen is they would end up looking them up, and it would probably come up a pity, and they may not, uh, they may not have given them to me. So I didn't even try on those. Um, it's pretty cool. These little uh, baby booties came up a penny. This United uh, headphones. I found this at one of the stores. I, I think this is a camel. Um, it was just a random item. It was sitting on a shelf, and I grabbed it and scanned it, and it was a penny. So I thought that was a pretty cool item. Um, a lot of people have been showing these uh, Preparation H's. Uh, those were a penny piece. This little pet shop was a random item. It was in a, a box full of stuff that looked like it had been sitting on an end cap for a long time. So just picked this up, scanned it. It was a penny. I got these two advanced antibacterial Rexols. I was kind of amazed. These were a penny at one of the Dollar Generals. At the other seven or eight places I went to, none of them had these listed as a penny. So that just goes to show every store is a little different. As you guys probably saw in a previous video, I, I got these two items uh, last weekend just doing a test run. This uh, Crazy 8 Taco was a penny and this To Sum To Sum was a penny. So. I went ahead and threw those up here so you guys could get a full idea of all the penny items. Um, then I got 12 of the fast dries. Those were across multiple uh, Dollar Generals, so it wasn't all at one. It was like two or three at each one that I went to, and there was two or three that didn't have any. So um, these were a lot harder to find than I thought they would be. Um, these I found two at one store and two at another store, but those were a penny a piece, and they were really buried behind a lot of newer model uh Haynes uh, briefs. So anyway, got four of those for a penny a piece. All right, and so as you guys can see, I found five of these Toastmasters. These five, five of these guys. Pretty excited about them, but uh, those were thirteen dollars and twelve cents a piece. 
I did find the large crock pots, the seven uh, quart, and the uh, I found the griddles, and I didn't get those because I just felt like uh, somebody else might grab those. I got these because I would like to, me and my wife have been wanting one for a while, and they're so expensive um, everywhere else. So we're going to use one, maybe give one to a relative, and then uh, talk about what I'm going to do with the others here in just a few minutes. Um, I picked up these two as well. Um, so the thing to keep in mind is if you're doing penny shopping for great deals, don't just look for pennies. Look for clearance items, things that have coupons that you can get a good deal on. These were $10 marked down to $3.75. I got two of one of them at uh, two different stores. These, actually, I'm probably going to flip these on eBay. They sell for about $15, I believe. So um, I'm going to try and flip those on eBay and make a little bit of profit on that. Um, these creme brulees, as you guys saw on my previous video, I also picked these up with the to some to some and the taco. Um, got those for three sixty a piece. They were on clearance. These two, I think I listed them uh, individually. I think they sell for like twelve to fifteen dollars a piece. So hopefully I can get a little bit of a return on that. And then as you guys know, I've been picking up all these locks. They're on clearance for two eighty. I've picked up a, a, I picked up twelve of them. And I accidentally, uh, one of the items I got was, I got two of these uh, Revlon Color Silk items for a dollar that were on clearance. One of them busted open and got uh, just got all over those locks. So I just cut them out of the, the container. I'm going to keep those two, use them for some, something around the house. The rest of them I've got listed on eBay. So I've got all those locks there. Um, one cool thing, well, like I said, when you're out shopping, look for deals. And if you're using the app, it'll tell you when there's coupons. This was supposed to be a $3 coupon on this scan. For some reason, it did not calculate up, but I had already paid for it when I left. I didn't realize it. So I should have gotten this for 19 cents, but I still, I paid $3.19. Not a huge loss. It was a cool, it was a, a nice try. But keep in mind, if you can apply the coupons in your cart to your account, when you go to check out, it'll calculate that out. Um, I picked up these four, uh, three, four dollar pledge cleaning wipes i've sold those on ebay before usually sell those very well i can at least sell those three for like 19 to 20 bucks easily so i went ahead and picked those up because i like to flip those and they're very hard to find in the wipes like that um, all these other items all these other items here are all a dollar a piece i got this super eraser and the shoe eraser for shoes as i'm cleaning them to resell them I got those to do that with and obviously like I said I was going to sell these two of these color silk Revlons together but uh, now I'm down to one so I'll still try to flip that on eBay and the two scrub brushes I bought for cleaning different things but all these items were one dollar a piece which is still a great deal too. Okay guys so now I'm going to go over the rules of the giveaway. The giveaway is going to run for one week so on March 2nd I'll post a video of the winners for this event. This is only going to be valid for continental U.S. addresses due to the shipping costs and the weight of these items that I'm giving away. So to enter, you must be a subscriber and preferably have your subscription status visible so that I can verify you on uh, YouTube. So if you leave the comment, and I, I need to be able to verify you, and then I'll have you communicate to me via email. I'll tell you guys on March 2nd, the email address to email so that I can verify your address and get those items out to you. The second thing is leave a comment in the down low of what you thought about the video. The keyword you've got to put in the comment is the word toast, T-O-A-S-T. So throw that in there. Hopefully you guys can leave me some uh, creative comments. Let me know what you think about the videos, this video especially, what you're looking forward to see in future videos, and just general comments. Um, so for every 50 comments, up to 150, I'll do a giveaway. And I'm going to bundle a bunch of those penny items together. I'm going to distribute them evenly and then ship those out to you guys. So it's at least three. And then if I get over 200 comments, 200 or more, with the word toast in it, I will give away one of those toaster, Toastmaster air fryers. And I'll ship that to somebody in the continental U.S. So that's a total of at least four giveaways. So, and I'm probably, I'm potentially going to throw a few other, a few other items in there, but mostly it's going to be those penny items. I'm just going to distribute that, those things out evenly and send them out to you guys. Hopefully that's uh, appealing to you and it will help you guys out. So enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, to wrap out the weekend, I did a little additional shopping. I um, went to a Walgreens. I always love going by Walgreens. I was driving by one and uh, just went in for a minute and saw their clearance item. Uh, this Christmas candy cane chapstick. These are actually selling for about $14 on eBay. So 
picked it up for 59 cents and hopefully I can sell it for 11 to 13 dollars something like that so not a bad find keep an eye out for this kind of stuff these kind of oddball items like this start to really sell well after the season ends because uh, you can't find it for another you know 9 10 11 months all right so I actually uh, went by a Goodwill as well and uh, found this pretty cool item for $1.99 it is a soup bowl that is da Silva um, made in Italy so I picked this up for about 99 it looks like they sell for about 15 to 16 dollars on eBay so grab that and then this pampered chef which I didn't realize it was pampered, pampered chef at first but it's a pampered chef strainer I uh, picked that up for $2.99 I believe these are selling 10 to 20 dollars a piece it's in pretty good shape I'm gonna wash it up make sure it's clean and then this next item I was uh, pretty surprised about it's a uh, Paul Revere from Revereware uh, and these are actually do pretty well usually I didn't look up the price on this um, but I do know Revereware in, in general does really well um, but anyway this was two dollars two dollars and 99 cents so I figured I'd give it a try it's an old teapot I guess so or a hot water pot you put hot water water in there and boil it and it whistles when it's ready so I thought that was pretty cool all right and the next item is these plates there's three of these plates all right so it's two 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 fifth Chandy Vanilla. So um, these are actually really pretty looking plates. I picked them up, looked them up real quick. A set of six of these just sold, I believe it was $70, 60 to $70. So I picked up three for $4, see if I can sell a set of three. Like I've been doing the Sango plates. If you guys go back and watch my pre previous videos, I've sold those multiple times now really quickly um, for a tremendous profit. So I also ran into another uh, person I know it, uh, but Goodwill Patrick gave me a great idea. He looks for these Allen Edmonds shoes, and I had never looked for these. I'd never, actually, I don't think I've ever heard of them. But anyway, these were in really good shape on the bottom. The tops were a little rough, but these shoes, sometimes these types of Allen Edwards shoes can go anywhere. For, it looks like they can go for, even in this shape, I could make them make $30 or $40. Um, but sometimes if they're in even better shape than this they can go for several hundred dollars i think brand new these shoes are like 350 to 500 dollars um but anyway got these for 7.99 figured i would give it a try thank you patrick for the uh suggestion it wasn't his size so he was open to uh, letting me take them so i appreciate you uh showing me where these were and i'll see what i can do with them all right and the last two things i got were actually off of facebook facebook group five dollars a piece this is a pampered chef griddle and it's a 10 by 18 got that for five dollars and um, i noticed these were actually selling uh, pretty well too so i think i can get 20 to 40 dollars for this it's got a little uh, grease drain over here in the corner which is really unique to pampered chef type stuff and then this favorware um, pan set it's uh, top and bottom so there's favorware this was five dollars as well it's an 1810 stainless so got that for five bucks i'll clean it up should be able to sell that for 20 to 30 dollars as well not huge huge profit returns but it took me like five minutes and i was going out to do other stuff so i stopped by and grabbed them real quick so that covers all the uh, purchases the dollar general stores the goodwills everything this weekend it was a lot of sourcing a lot of fun all right guys so thank you for watching Go out, make sure you do, leave the comment down below, follow the instructions to get in the giveaways. I really appreciate everything you guys are doing. Hopefully you guys win, and hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of the sourcing stuff I got at Dollar General, at Goodwill, and Walgreens this weekend, and on Facebook too. Leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think, let me know what you guys want to see in next upcoming videos. I do have a video coming out probably tomorrow or the next day with the third week of my February $5,000 gross sales goal. So we'll see how that goes. Appreciate it, guys. Be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.